We are exploring. Welcome to part 2 of my three-part series about the haunted State Highway 365 in Arkansas. And today we're gonna make it from the Wrightsville, Arkansas area to Woodson, Arkansas, which is probably the epicenter of the hauntings here on the haunted highway. In part three we're gonna make our way to Redfield. Look, this is pretty cool. Somebody built a fence along the roadside made of bicycles. It's a bicycle motorcade. Or wait, since bicycles are not motorized, would that still count as a motorcade? I am not sure. Next stop here is coming up at a historic cemetery. We're gonna get out of the car and explore this in more detail. This is a historic black cemetery and there are very few marked graves. Actually two have markers and one has a sandstone rock as a marker. Kuykendall Cemetery. This does not sound like a black cemetery. That was probably the name of the plantation owner here in this area. The name sounds like it's from the Netherlands or Belgium or maybe Luxembourg. Unfortunately, people are trashing here and that is a shame. A vacuum cleaner. My goodness, is this really necessary to have parties here and throw out your empty cases of beer and your empty beer bottles and cans at a cemetery. I'm not sure. I think that's nasty. Many of the graves here are unmarked and the reason I can tell this is a black cemetery I'm gonna show you in a minute. Here's the first grave. 1878 8, 19, 29, the death date, if I got that right. And there's the sandstone marker here in the center. And the next marker at the top, it has the symbol of the Mosaic Templars fraternity. And that way you can tell there's a black person buried here. Lizzie Brown died 1916. May she rest in peace. There are probably more graves over there. Fraternity's main purpose back in the day was to provide burial insurance to black people. And here's a bridge coming up that is haunted. There's a girl hitchhiker in a white dress and if she's picked up and dropped off at her home at the destination she just disappears. And if you don't believe me there are other videos about the haunted bridge in Woodson, Arkansas on YouTube. And if it's on YouTube, it's always true. Here we're in Woodson, a small community with a population of 445 people. A haunted place with many abandoned buildings. Let's have a closer look at that church over there, which looks like it could be abandoned but i'm not sure there are buildings here on the haunted highway that look like they're abandoned and then you check it out and it turns out that somebody is living in it this church collins chapel mae church was rebuilt in september 1967 after it was destroyed by a fire very likely I hope nobody got hurt. Oh look, there are some folks who are having fun. Thanks for not running your vehicle into my car. Here's an abandoned camper in Woodson in a side street. I always like to check out the side streets and an abandoned trailer over there. Next stop is the Woodson community cemetery dead end it says there on the sign and that is very true for the
community cemetery. I want to show you a specific spooky grave I've discovered here. This is a pretty small cemetery, but as I said, there is one grave that stands out to me, and that's a grave of a little boy here. And what I find spooky is, you're gonna see this in a minute, that they made a change to the name. There was apparently a mistake and they wrote Larry and then they corrected it to Gary. And what I find spooky is that this looks like it's fading one name into the other and you're not really sure who died there. Rest in peace. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it.